Hello there and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video I will show how you can make a, a middleware where you don't need to apply on whole uh, application if you don't want that. The previous video I show you how you can work with the general with the with middleware and that's meaning everything you do will go inside the middleware, be verif verified and then return something. In this case I will show how you can make a middleware and only use places where I want it. Like if you have an administration section, you can just use it here and make the rest of the application to be allowed for, for GIST. So let's starting to to working with the with the flask basic application here. here and methods we want to use is just git and then we say hello world it's the famous word here and we say return hello world and then we are starting it up again and debug should be true so we can see what's happening and now it's running as it should be let's go inside here and you can see hello world that's perfect I just keep the settings from the previous video so we can see it's working and it's working with the hello world let's go back for the code and create a middleware file here you can just say new file and say middleware and inside here we want to build uh, a, a, a function called uh, hello middleware so for this we want to say from function tools import reps and then we say from flask import response and request that's what we want to do in this case we say hello middleware and we need what we want to inside here it's the function and then we want to tell them a uh, rep the function that's what we want and inside this function we build one more I'm really bad for spelling here for the morning in Denmark Morning on morning, it's a it's a nine nine twenty, so it's not really morning, not anymore. But I'm still pretty slow here, but it's okay. And then we need to say username is equal to request uh, the authentication here and the username, and then we need the password should be request. And then need the password. And down below here we said if username is equal to test username and password is equal to test pass, then we are allowed return. What we want to return is basically what we get inside. So I return the input as output again. If not, we will return the response. Here we go. I will say authentication is failed. And check plain. And inside here we want to say status 401. And then we say return this one like this. That's how it's working right now. So let's go back to the application and say 
from middleware, whoops, middleware, and port hello middleware, and copy this, and uh, below here, you can just do it this way, and now you activate this middleware function for this function. Let's test it up, and let's build one more, where we not do this, I would say, hello section not hit middleware and we just do this and save it let's go back and say what's happening here hello world if I'm sending this it's, it's error and if we go up here to say hello it should tell us the hello section doesn't hit the middleware even if I do this and you can see that's working so the middleware is only take effect on the main and that's what we wish but we only have one problem back now I just do this um, and the problem is if you want to work uh, inside here and say it's correct I want to send a token let's say token uh, test token here and you need this and send it back so we can play around with the token inside the middleware here let's say that that's what you want out of the box you can do this but if you're going up here and say import G that's I, I don't really know what this is but I know it's used when you need to transport a variable and something between your custom middleware and your application in Flask and it's allowed to go out of the it's going basically out of the request and you can make some invisible uh, variables you can work with for the user so inside here we say g oops g token is equal to token and then we're going back for the application here and scrolling up and say we have that g uh, and, and what we do here I'll just say G token and going back here and that should be that let's see how it's working and we have the token test token here and that's how it's working congratulations you have created your first uh, custom middleware for a custom route thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed this and the code can be found on my github profile you can find the links in the description below i hope you want to subscribe my channel and get more videos from me i hope you want to like this video and share it with your friends and have you any kind of questions please make them in the comments fields below and i will try to answer them as fast as i can thank you so much for watching this video and hope to see you next time and thank you for subscribing